Well, hello. We are back for our, I believe it's the 14th episode of <laughs> The Engine Tut. So first off, I want to say to you, if you are here, and you're actually building this with me, congratulations. You are a part of one of the absolute hardest builds I have ever done. And if you've made it this far and you have what I have as well, congratulations. You've worked really hard and you deserve kudos for what you've done. Not a lot of people could pull off what you've just done. Now, knowing that, just want to say, uh, going forward, you know you got this. You know you can you can do this if you can do all the things you've already done. There's nothing that's going to stop you from finishing this. Okay? And not only that, any build you do, if you were able to do this, I want you to always think back to this build and realize that that was just the tip of the iceberg before you got truly amazing at Blender. Okay? Now, um, I don't know where we're going to start today. Hopefully we'll get going a little farther. And we'll just scoot a couple things out of the way. Um, we'll go into edit mode and we'll just grab the hood here. I'm just going to go L over the whole thing. It should grab the whole thing because we have it separated basically. I'm just going to pull it straight up. And when we put it back, we can just go straight down. There's nothing to worry about. Okay? This is where we can see what we're doing because we're going to do some more work under the hood today. And hopefully we'll get pretty close to finished. If not, I apologize. I know this is taking forever. I really appreciate you being with me this whole time and going through this journey together. Hope you guys feel like you know me a little bit after this too, after hearing me talk this long. and Seeing how I work and my mistakes. Out of edit mode, sorry, before we start anything. I'm just going to go ahead and make us a new cube. A brand new cube, guys. I haven't had one of those for a while. Alright, and we're going to try to make a radiator. Um, I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. I've done them so many different styles. I don't have one uh, specialty way that I do them. I just kind of play it by eye try to make it a little better every single time I make it so we're gonna do the same today okay I'm gonna go into edit mode we are on faces so I just went up here and I'm just gonna change to uh, edges two three four okay no big deal and then we'll just control B and we're gonna have to fix that and that's something you gotta do every time you reopen your project is adjust things like that what I try to do is find a number I like and just try to stay on that. And that way, if I have to adjust it, I kind of know what I'm going to. I like to do around four segments where it looks nice, but we're not getting into ridiculous graphics and things like that. And again, it's it's a personal choice. You want to go higher, that's totally cool. You want it to look nicer, you're probably going to want it to go higher, right? Not a big deal. It's all preference. And I say you got to kind of find your own preferences. I'm just going to try to get the general shape. We might have went a little too heavy on the curves, as you can see. So maybe we'll try that again. We'll go back to that. We want a bit more squares of a shape. And I know I'm just being picky, but if you guys are following along, let's go back and do this over again, okay? Control B. Just don't go as far this time. Something like that. And it's going to make a difference in our overall look. It's going to make it have more of a square look, and that's what we need for our radiator. As you can see, it's more of a square. It's less of a egg shape, I want to call it. Find a good thickness. And again, I don't know how I'm doing this, so be patient. But we'll figure this out together, and we'll figure out a good way to do this. I like the look of that. We know it's centered. okay? So maybe we'll just move it a little down, because when we're building farther cars in the future, we are going to want the radiator to be nice and low for we can give it a low front end, right? And get right in there and adjust it right down if you want to the very bottom of your car frame. And the object is the fan's going to spin, the, f the wind from the fan's going to cool off your radiator. So you're going to want it to be mostly in front of your fan anyways. Okay? Not a big deal. Uh, you can even move it down farther if you want. You're just going to have to bump it back Say like this. And then we can go down a little bit, and we're not hitting anything. We just got to make sure we mount it in there somehow to make it make sense, right? Not a big deal. It's a little low, so I'm going to pull it up. Again, we might have to do a little bit of work on the car frame to get it a little lower. It's going to be up to you, what you're making, and all that stuff. But we just got to basically uh, uh, 
cut out a hole for this stuff to go through. And then we can lower it to wherever we want since the floor is out on here. Give me an example where I would probably lower it to. So, um, something like that. Oh, no. See, we're too far into our tires. And then I just go around and make sure that looks okay. A little higher. That looks like the lowest we're able to go. So, I just thought I'd mention that. Maybe a little higher. Maybe next time um, we dri drive our wheel wheels a little higher in the frame, but we're just making an example frame to hold our parts anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Again, you can keep it, but we just need to kind of figure out where things are going to be mounted, right? So we'll probably try to make our radiator look a little more like a radiator. I'm not exactly sure how we'll do that, but let's see what we can do, boys and girls. Hmm. Let me try to grab the concept of this right here. Let's go to edit mode. No, let's not. Let's go back. Shift D this. So radiator, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, and feel free to correct me if I am. Uh, we're just going to make a little, basically, a frame around the whole thing, right? Where fluids are going to run through. Okay. And they're going to pass through evenly to distribute the coolant cool our system down right so this is basically what we want is an inner frame that's going to have a bunch of little coils that are going to let wind and air pass through them to cool down and the heat from the outer part is going to transfer through those kind of like a computer if you have if you've ever worked on a computer kind of like a cpu and a cpu cooler same idea basically so we'll make this make sense hopefully I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to shift E that, because we're going to need that piece, okay? And then we're going to pull this from that. Difference, okay? So now we have this exact cutout shape missing from the other part, okay? So when we scoot it in, we just need to change the size, and it should be right. We just have it thicker, because we were using it to punch out shapes, right? Get the idea. So now we're going to go into edit mode on this piece, click off everything, and hit Control R. Oh, and it's not going to let us cut it. Hmm. Hmm. I got an idea. Okay, we're going to cheat a little bit. I don't know why it's not letting us cut it. I'm just thinking what's the best thing to do here. Okay, I got an idea. Shift D, we're going to pulp a new square. So what we need is something that's going to cut out the middle parts of this and make that grill we were talking about, right? It won't let us put a line through it. And what I was going to do is subdivide it basically into a thousand lines, right? Won't let us do it. So we're going to do this a different way. Stretch this out. And are we off center? What's going on here? What's off center then? You're off center. You're off center. There we go. And we'll do that one too. Sorry, it's always better to work on center when you're doing things, right? Obviously you can... Uh, you can uh, use the math basically to do a lot of the thinking for you basically, okay? So here's what we got. I'll stretch it out probably a little bit and shrink it up and down a little bit. So we want it to be closer side to side, but still give that gap at the top. So we're just going to make this one a mount for this one. And we're just going to do the same idea, but we're going to do it here on this one. So we'll go into edit mode and we'll hit control R. We're going to get that. We're going to roll our mouse wheel forward. Okay. And we're going to stop there. -ish, okay. Now right click and it should center itself. And we should be perfectly centered on that. Okay. What we've done is we've now made a thousand cuts into this. Okay? So we, now we can take half the faces and we can erase them. And when we do that, we can attach the other faces or we can just leave the smooth line. Okay? It's going to depend what you're looking for. If you just want the smooth line, we'll just delete the faces. 
if you want thicker pieces that it runs through then we're going to divide or then we're going to attach the faces after I'll give you an example of both of course um, let's just delete the faces okay so it goes all the way through now so then you do the same there make sure you're clicking the same ones for you're not making new holes nice and clean make sure you got the right ones okay then you would delete faces okay now we have a hole going all the way through basically as you can see okay now we're gonna shimmy the faces together until we're happy with the size maybe go pretty thin for it's a little bit easier for us okay grab this and then this and F this then this then F all right and then you just work your way along and you do the same thing and what it's gonna do is just make it look like there's a little tube to run uh, coolant through if you don't like this look there's another way we can do it um, what I would do is delete every face and just leave the lines and then maybe I shrink it to half to make it more lines and then I put two of the same pieces beside each other into the piece that we're looking to replace okay but I think you get the idea anyways okay but you know what I have done this wrong too because we needed to punch that shape out of the other one first before we did that hmm yeah good work so I'm gonna sh do one more way that we could do just for you guys have many examples and you can choose what's good for you what what's the look you're going for do you want it to look real do you want it to look unreal do you want it to look you know you're gonna have to make those decisions I can't make them for you and I don't know what you're making to be honest so I can't I can't help <laughs> in that aspect so what I'm gonna do is show you just one more way that we could do this okay a little more complicated but shift D and move this along until you're happy until you got the gap you want shift D okay move along until you're happy again and if this is taking a little too long maybe we can go one two three shift D and just move them along and yeah it's gonna take a little while to do it that way but if that's the look you're going for it's worth it you want to take the time you're gonna need to make your car look really good okay so I'm just gonna speed it up by doing more at once and yes we're gonna have to click every single one of those before we click the face so that's gonna be a challenge as well and I don't know how many are left I'll say three so I'm gonna do three more shift D might have to adjust these ones as you get closer to the end like so grab this last one just do uh, this it's one little secret we can use here if you want them to be exactly where these ones are you can just shift D and I believe it's the middle no it's the top so we just push zero here or minus sorry I always say zero and then we shift D and we go minus and you can move them that way if you want them to be absolutely accurate right because when we moved everything in the middle that's part of the reason is for we are able to do things like this if you needed to on a grill I wouldn't matter I wouldn't um, worry too much that it was wrong you know what I mean but um, everybody's different you want to be exact that's how you do it I thought I'd include that this way is a little bit painful but it's probably going to give a better look to be to be honest it's going to be more rounded edges of what's punched out what's not punched out things like that eventually you're going to have to start counting them one two three four and that's what i got there so we're on our fifth you get the idea though i'm just going to speed this up for demonstrations obviously you could finish doing yours that way just pause the video until you're done but i'm going to speed things up because we're not getting that much done that fast so i'm just going to get this example done with and we'll probably keep this grill because this is gonna be the best looking grill I think so again you're gonna to want to take your time to adjust those but I'm not going to probably one two more shift D okay well yours is gonna look a little better because you took the time to adjust every single one right now we gotta click every single one of those without clicking the face so be very careful take your time If you make a mistake click undo and it should take you back to before you misclicked just once 
Okay? Right on, you're doing this. And this is going to give you good examples of later how you're going to use these techniques to get the looks of the things you need. Okay? So this is obviously pretty complicated, but it gives you an idea of maybe how you'd make parts for a computer, uh, some sort of jet air filter. You can get the idea. So we're just going to boolean them with difference. Oh, that froze for a minute. It took so long and didn't know what to do. And there you have it. Now, if I was going to make a grill on this car, which I'm probably going to just delete the car because it's kind of uh, out of proportions. We need it to be a little bit uh, lower to the ground and stuff like that. It's just it's not going to work in my game, you know what I mean? Probably not going to work in yours either, but we still need it for the markup. If it does work, go ahead and keep it, obviously, but um, it's not that important, and it's not that hard to make cars. It's one of the easier things to do out of all of this stuff. You know, it's the engines, it's the radiators, it's this stuff that's actually pretty hard. So when you've got yourself into the place that you want to be, and you're happy with what your radiator looks like, you could attach it, but let's not do that yet, actually. Let's just wait, because we need a way. Uh, we need a cap for a radiator. Okay? And again, it may not be important. Don't do it if you don't want it, if you're not going to be adding fluids, or if you don't need the look. But we probably want it to look almost as good. Well, we want it to look as good as we can always, right? But you want it to look as good as it can while still functioning is what I would say was more important. Okay? So we're going to shrink that because it just doesn't fit. Something like that. Don't worry, we'll make it work. We always do. We always find a way here at, at with Fishton. So do you want it to be level? Do you want it to stick up a bit? Do you want it to be off to the side? Do you want it to be right in the top? I'm going to do there for example. Okay, I'm going to shift D. And since we didn't uh, do anything extra to this, we should be able to just, uh, we didn't attach anything, so we should be able to just bool it. And now when I pull this up, there's a hole. Okay, it's just in case you're actually, uh, your game actually pours liquids in there, you might want to put an actual hole in there, right? Should lead to the insides if you need to. You could delete the walls for it looks like it flows side to side. So maybe I'll show that real quick grab that, go into edit mode. You see it's all lit up there. Just hit delete. Faces. Okay. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted, right? Now, when you pour liquids in, it spreads around, and then it goes through our tubes, or at least it looks like it, right? Okay. Shift D. Okay. We're going to do something different to this one. We're going to go S, shrink it down, get to a good size, and then up and down. We're going to do that. And then we're going to bool this one, okay? And you'll see why. Makes sense because we're making something that we're going to pour our oil into, right? So there you go. There you have it. You got your oil, um, or sorry, not oil, um, radiator fluid adapter where you would pour it in. Now, one thing we're missing is a cap. I should have copied. You know what? Maybe we'll go back. I'm just going to go back and copy that circle for I don't have to drag another one over. So, um, it's just clicked on that, so I'm just going to hit Shift D. Just drag it up a little bit, and we'll use that for our cap. Sorry about that. And then you can bool this out. Difference, bool. Okay. Sometimes it's easier to go back than drag a new piece all the way over and size it and everything. I always try to keep spare pieces, but sometimes you forget. Okay. Something like that. That's perfect. It's got the right bool size, so we're just going to go this, we're going to shrink down this way, go a little S this way, okay, let's make sure it fits, it should be straight up and down, okay, it's a little small, so make it a little bigger, okay, got to be bigger, and then we're going to take this, shift D, okay, we're going to pull it off to the side just in case we need a new one, shift D again, see I did make a safety that time, I call it a safety piece, and then we're going to hit S and we're going to shrink this down, okay, so it looks like that this piece, once we bool it, should, this cap should basically fit on. Now if you want to make it screw on, if you want to make it, that's up to you. Okay? Boom. We got, it, we got our radiator with a cap. A few other things we need for a radiator. I know this is complicated. We're getting into a, a longer video here and we're just doing 
something so small and insignificant, right? Okay, I've messed up this piece here. So what I got to do to this piece is just hit L over it. P, selection. If you did it with me, just follow along. Grab it, delete it, okay? It was attached, so um, it was going to get messed up if I tried to use it. I don't know how I got it attached, but we got to make things in the right modes, otherwise they start causing issues. So I did actually make a new one because I just didn't want to reuse that one that was attached still. So we're just going to hit 90 here. That's wrong. Zero. 90. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is make an intake and an outtake to our radiator. Okay. Just shift. Uh, let's shrink that down a little bit first. Shrink it down like that and then shift D it. And what the purpose is, okay, is radiator fluid's going to run from here through our engine and then back into this and then it's going to cool off and repeat the cycle okay and so if you're not good with engines and you're kind of learning about it I explain this stuff for it makes a little more sense but um, you may be doing something different you may have some you may not be working it that way you may not care if it looks like it does or not that's all up to you so I'm just going to shift D stretch this out just the one way keep grabbing it the wrong way there we go and then we're gonna hit s after make it the right size for it looks like you got a pipe run through we're gonna object bool difference almost done a radiator guys all right I know this is hard I know this is a lot of work and you're probably not used to this stuff maybe you are maybe you just kind of couldn't kind of up with the concept of how you'd put this all together or even start to maybe you're better than me Feel free to use, uh, leave comments for the rest of us down below, and I'm sure even I'll get some use out of this stuff. I'm just going to bump it in here, maybe like that, for it kind of looks like it plugs into both parts. Maybe up a little bit, but I just can't have enough edge down there, and I don't want it to make it any smaller. So I'll do that, okay? Maybe do the same thing if you're okay with it, if you want to. You could probably put it over here or something, on the lower half over here, like... Actually, that works a little better. Maybe I'll do that. It's just a bigger edge over there, so it just makes a little bit more sense. We just need to put it really low. So there'll be an upper, and then there'll be a lower connection to these, right? It's just a little big, eh? Uh, I don't know. I think that's good. You do you, if you want to make it a bit smaller. I understand. It's really close to the edges probably just stretch the radiator or hair too. S, um, but just make sure that you uh, adjust the radiator with the frame otherwise it's going to cause issues right should adjust together just fine because they're the same piece essentially okay so I just went difference just made that to a tube so now we have upper lower and our filler okay if you're happy with the position of everything start grabbing things grab the outer frame last we're gonna grab this grab this I don't know if I can grab that yes I can that and then the outer frame okay then control J that's now one piece okay so we have our radiator now guys so if you're hanging out there we are getting closer to finished we just need to plug our radiator in now we need to run our gas back to the back and we need to put in a battery and I believe unless oh we need a starter somewhere too we'll have to figure that out but after that I believe unless I'm mistaken that we have a fully running engine I don't know what we're gonna do about the starter maybe uh, here and then have something maybe plug it in the side here would make the most sense we'll figure it out alright guys well I hope you're having a good time with me make sure you thumbs up make sure you subscribe I'm so glad you join me and if you're working on this project congratulations uh whatever game you're making the more detail the more time you take to do this stuff it's going to make your game so much better when you're able to rip all those parts apart and put them back together and the next time you go to do this alone it's going to be so much easier because you've already done this before you've you've done this you can do it again all right 
Well, I'm glad you joined me. Thanks, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you next time, guys. We'll do episode 14, and we'll do the battery and maybe the gas. We'll see if we can get going a little faster next time. Rad was a little more complicated. Okay? Have a good one, guys. Bye.